Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Assistance API to get two chat GPTs to talk to each other to, using the Assistance API. So two assistants are going to be talking back and forth in an ancient-like manner. And then I'm going to show you how to make it using this Assistance Agents idea. So as you can see here, Sam Altman just tweeted today, two hours ago, GPTs are now live for all chat GPT plus subscribers. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one using an assistant generating the idea. So to get started, I'm using this guy's code snippets that he created that allows two assistants to talk to each other using the API. It's by Yohin Kajima, so credits to him. So all we're gonna do is just clone his repo. So if I go to Python, we're just gonna do a git clone. So I can just do it again in this directory. So copy and paste that command, git clone command and the CD inside of it. So I already have it, but I just made a new one in the same directory. So if we go in, this is what you would see. Next thing you'd want to do is install the requirements. So if you go back to the documentation, they have the command. So pip install dash r requirements.txt. So you can just paste that in here and then it will install those requirements. And now you're good to go. All you got to do now is if you go to the readme install, which should tell you, you just need to import your API key. So if I do that here, I just have to export OpenAI, copy this, then go into here, and then paste your API key here, and close it off at this point, press enter. I already have a setup, so I'm just gonna go back into this directory. So I'm just gonna cd back into here. So I'm just gonna copy it, cd, and then now I'm in this directory. So now we're good to go. So now you can just run it. And the example that he has is a mermaid. So once you run it, it'll be a mermaid and a pirate talking to each other about global warming. But I changed the prompt, so you can do that if you go to the bottom of the code as parameters. So I changed the system one parameter to a hustler. The name has nothing to do with it, as far as I'm aware, just uh, for seeing the logs. Then I change it. Do you think of ideas of chatbots that are very niche? So this is instructions. It's based on a prompt and the model is GPT for what have turbo. And then assistant two parameters is a hustler two. And then it has instructions. You plan to build up a chatbot that is very niche and help implement it. So create an idea of a custom chatbot that we will use, that will be we will be useful to humans. Make it a niche and it will be built using ChatGPT. So basically, this is the prompt you give the agent. Essentially, um, this code's pretty good. It's using threads as well. So this. All the conversation context is safe using ChatGPT, his new assistance API. So to run this, all we're going to do is python main.py. Okay, so now it's suggesting a culinary bot. Hell, it's an expert, but I think ChatGPT has that as default. Previously, I was recording, but the audio didn't get recorded, and it made me it made the idea of a stylist chatbot, which I made. I'll show you guys that as well. Um, as you can see, they're talking back and forth. And now they wanted to actually make the bot, but they don't have an API key. So you can see that these two agents is a, is a foundation um, for an actual agent build. The actual maker of this code snippet is the baby AGI creator. Anyways, regarding all that, so now it has the idea. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to proceed to copy and paste their all their conversation. And before I show you what I'm going to do with that, this is the old, this is what I made before. Um, Basically, I made a chat bot that helps you pick out an outfit and it generates also an image using Dolly. So this is quite good and I'll probably release this. It's publicly available, so you can, I'm gonna put it in the description for you to use. It's gonna generate an image of this style, so it's good. But back to what I was talking about. We're just gonna go back to here, summarize this idea in the same fashion. So I'm getting it to summarize this conversation between both the agents for the actual idea. So I'm scraping the idea from the conversation that they did, which is a professional chefs and culinary enthusiast. And then I'm just gonna create a GPT using this. So to create a GPT, then I go to explore, and then you'll have the option to create a GPT in sim beta, so you click on that. And now you have two ways to do it, which is create using natural language or configure, configuring it manually. So in this case, I'm gonna be using natural language to do this. And all it's gonna do all I'm going to be doing is copying and pasting what ChatGPT generated before, and now it should start to work, and it will generate a name, description, instructions, which is going to be the prompt and conversation starters all in one, and it has everything enabled already, which is web browser value, image generation, and code interpreter. You can upload files, as you can see, already it's already done. Um, so now it's going to ask me if the name is good, and then afterwards it's going to generate me an icon. So that's how it works step by step. And now it'll ask me further questions about like the tone of speech. What should the CBT emphasize or avoid the instructions? Don't make up stuff. Ensure your all food is safe. Try to be funny and fun to work with. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit more 
fun to work with um, and to not make anything up because this is food related and things can get out of control, especially if something is not done properly. So now we can see the actual prompt that it made. So the chatbot should not fabricate information and mess ensure all recommended food are safe to consume. It'll have a fun and humorous personality, making interactions enjoyable and engaging for chefs and food enthusiasts. Now in our conversation, how detailed do you prefer the explanations to be? Keep it brief if needed, or it seems like the user would benefit with in-depth guidance. Proceed with that based on context. Um, essentially, what I'm trying to get it to do is that if the user is just browsing and playing with the bot, I don't want it to go too in-depth, but as if the chatbot can tell that it's really interested in this specific recipe or whatever, it goes in-depth. Um, if there is any way images would be useful, ask the user if you, if they would like one, maybe to see how the kitchen should be laid out, etc. And then I think after that, we're good to go. So the idea was generated by the two assistants talking back and forth using that code snippet, which is going to be in the And then we using that, I, that conversation in chat GPT4 to summarize the idea because we didn't implement too much of it on top of that code that we got. And then we just pasted it into the GPT builder and now it built us a chef companion. Um, awesome. So I think we're pretty much done. So now we can just try it out. So it's just a recipe for dinner and let's see what it outputs. So sure thing. How about a simple, yeah, the spaghetti, let's say actually I'm vegan and I want to use soybeans. As you can see, though, um, this is like quite similar to actual chat GPT if you just prompt it correctly. But the use case of GPTs is like people don't need to do that prompting. You know, you're doing it for them and then you release it on the marketplace and you have it publicly available. This is good for like normal users that don't want to do all the prompting and stuff. So um, this is quite useful in that regard. OK, so now it made spaghetti with soybeans. OK, awesome. Would you like an image? Sure. I'd like an image. So it's going to generate an image of how to plate this dish, dish in an appetizing manner. Now there are three things you can save it for yourself. Save it for people with a link or you can make it public, which will allow it to be split in the marketplace once it's released. So it says here, this GPT may appear in the GPT store it's coming soon. And then it even has a way of presenting the food after you make it. So that's amazing. So now we can confirm and publicly make it available. And now once the GPT store comes out, it will be accessible to everybody. So I have two companions now, this Dial Muse and the Chef's Companion. Um, and these ideas were thought of, but not by me, by GPT using the Assistance API as well as GPT-4. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm glad you made it this far. There are a lot of new use cases, especially with the GPT-4 Vision API as well. So um, stay tuned, subscribe and like, it means a lot to me. Peace.